Hello, to the good honey beard. I'm Hans T. Yaman, and there's another good bees video coming to you. Right here from the beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad. Whoa, check out my tree over there. You take a look at it, yes, no. But um, I'm trying to get these frames all in gear so that I will be able to put back these extracted honey frames onto the colonies today. Today is March 4th. Sorry, no, May, today is May 5th, 2023. It's now 9am and um, I'll be heading up there just now. So you're welcome to join me up on that side for a sapery. So we have a lot of bees coming here and trying to get a little bit of this honey. So let me get there and try and finish those three frames there quickly. And... Uh, Come and join me up there now, man. You know I like your I like your company. I think. Let, let's go over so and look at the, the flowers. What we have over here is Carambola, five finger star fruit. Any name that you know it by. And the bees are doing a fantastic job of taking out the nectar and pollinating it um i don't know if it's because we are in i'm in such a close proximity to this um five finger tree that the bees smell the the honey over on that side there and they are having a ball now but i have to i have to stop that because you know when bees get into a frenzy it's really something So, um, as soon as I'm finished with that, I'll be heading up to the apri. Oh, look, we have a, a dragon fruit. No, this is a pity higher vine, aka dragon fruit. That's what I'm trying to say. And this here is the queen of the night variety. And this is one of the flower that opened last night. It's closing now. We have two more flowers over there. The bees don't get it, so because um, this flower, as you see, closed up already. But some of the other flowers, which still will be open now, the bees will be able to get into it and pollinate it. Sometimes they pollinate it during the the evening before it open. As soon as it begin to peep its head, sometimes they just wiggle their way in and try to get out some of that pollen. Whoa, I see plenty of bees now. Boy. Now that the sun is on the other side of where I'm standing, I can see how the bees are in and out of these flowers. Let me go over on the other side and show you one of the other flowers. Hold on. Okay, there it is. This is the local Trinidad version of uh, Piti Haya flower. And it's called Harajuru. It's local to Trinidad, which where I am. And this one opened last night. You see how it's looking beat up? It blew fire so much. Now look at the tongue. This is the tongue here, the tongue hanging out. You can't do nothing again. <laughs> Alright, so on the other side here, you can see this one here is a flower bud. This will open in the next two days and probably end up just like that one there so it's a pretty 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 flower i mean aroma in the night is incredible fantastic you could get drunk smelling it all right so with all of that being said and filmed let's get back to those frames cleaning up the frames to make sure that it doesn't have any um of the Propolis sticking up here and there and everywhere, giving you trouble when you get to the apiary. Because those Africanized bees, they just love to lick up all that spilt honey. Look at this dragon fruit. Pretty, yeah? Ay, 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 boy. <laughs> and you see this thing get fat. 
I will enjoy it like that. All right, look like I want to ramble on. This is a flower bud here as well. All right, okay, let's get going. All right, so like I say, meet me up there. Yeah, man, later. to show you what is going on there. Let me just wash my hands off the honey habit. These bees, they're doing their thing, man. See how much propolis I was able to scrape off from all the supers, and the frames. So I use, um, I put in nine, nine frames in my supers. And during the rainy season i will put back another one making it 10 so that it'll be able to the bees will be able to keep it nice for me all right so that's what's going on here let me just put this in the car now and um, like i said just now meet me up there man for a safe time okay there's much to do here anymore if you want some bee sting for bee venom to do bee venom therapy on yourself get your back in order your muscles whatever you can capture some bees now this is just a little note to remind myself i know you wouldn't get no sting because you're quite over on the other side of this this video so i will take it for myself i'll bear you in mind to show you what is going on there. Let me just wash my hands off the honey habit. These bees, they're doing their thing, man. See how much propolis I was able to scrape off from all the supers and the frames. So I use, um, I put in nine, nine frames in my supers. And during the rainy season i will put back another one making it 10 so that it'll be able to, the bees will be able to keep it nice for me all right so that's what's going on here let me just put this in the car now and um, like i said just now meet me up there man for a safe time okay there's much to do here anymore if you want some bee sting for bee venom to do bee venom therapy on yourself get your back in order 
your muscles or whatever you can capture some bees now this is just a little note to remind myself I know you wouldn't get no stain because you're quite over on the other side of this, this video so I will take it for myself I'll bear you in mind Okie dokie, it's May 5th, 10.30 a.m. 2023 at the Good Honey Bee Yard Forest Division. I'm looking at the colonies here and trying to determine what is the plan for today. But the first thing you have to make sure that the bees know that you want to come in by smoking in the air and I see everything okay except one of the, the trays down there that have the oil and water in it like it have a, had a leak so I need to replenish that somehow remember this colony the one that I took from miles away and bring them here I re the last time I took off the the entrance reducer which was the piece of foam look at them today right and Bajon is in the middle and then the original on that side there Bajon is, a, is an original as well but you know that you have to keep that in a special category by itself all right, so as per usual, I have to put on my gloves now and um, see how best I can make you enjoy the rest of this little time with me here. All right, so you have to, as usual, bear with me a little bit. We going into that one there first, this one. these bees behave <clears throat> I always have to be aware of what I'm doing otherwise I'll have to leave Come back another time because of the foam that I put on the inside of the suit which I call the invisible bee suit because you can't see it, I can't see it, the bees can't see it. So it's invisible. So I have to take my time and put on the gloves and make sure that they can't get me. We have been a very nice sunny day today some of the clouds have dark areas in it so that means we are expecting rain to come down last night was full moon and usually you get rain three days before or three days after full moon so coming here today to manipulate and to see what I'm doing with these bees is in just the right timing.
ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿਤੇ ਮਾਰੇ ਦੇ ਟਾਈਮ ਫਰੀ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਕਿ ਗੋ ਰਾਈਟ ਟੂ ਵਨ ਬੀ ਵਰ ਵਨ ਬੀ ਹੈਵ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਅਟੈਕ ਮੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਕੋਲ ਇਨ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਟੂ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਹਾਵ ਅ ਅਟਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਕਮੈਂਸੀ ਫਸਨ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਸੀ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਅ ਸੁਪਰ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਪੁੱਟ ਦੇ ਵਿਦ ਸਮ ਐਮਟੀ ਨਾਟ ਐਮਟੀ ਨਾ ਯੂਜ਼ ਮੀ ਰੋਂਗ ਵਰਡ ਵਿਦ ਸਮ ਵੈਲ ਮੋਸਟ ਆਫ ਇਟ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਇਟ ਵਰ ਜਸਟ ਫਾਊਂਡੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਵਾਟ ਯੂਜ਼ ਦੀਸ ਦੇ it have neck tain it to the other side yep see neck tain it there and they building it out nice man no i made a mistake this 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 super should have gone on to the bajon in but a mistake look they have one two three four five six six frame almost totally built out in it on this colony here this is bajon right here i should have put bajon that super on top of the brood nest on bajon but i guess i'll do it today and now look at what i'm seeing here see these bees they have they were brought up well so they have a little bit of behavior here not like bajon all all know so bajon would be at me already and you see when they get them little smoke they they respond by going down like we want we don't want to smoke the bees down inside the the house so that they will be vex with you so this thing will move on just in case put you in solid ground so you can you can watch me very well from here right i don't know if anybody ever get that smell is a little a loud smell that the bees let out in the air when you open up the colony sometime and i got that smell just now is not an a, a smell for the to attack is just a smell to let others know to be on the alert right what you see in there okay right so we have a little bit of bro comb there is like a little space between the bottom frame and the top frame now
Okay, girls, I'm coming in. Let's see what you all doing. I have a little treat for you all today. I have to put on onto this colony a super, an empty super. It from uh, it frames, drawn out frames, foams that I extracted. And I want to put that on top of the brood nest. Well, on top of the queen excluder, which is on top of the brood nest. So I'm smoking the bees to go down. And then I will be able to, to do that. And I don't like to smoke down inside the colony. I just give them the necessary smoke that is needed. Oh bloody, it's heavy. Bye DB. Watch them here coming up. Move out. I'll bring you some extra room for all you. You know, sometime at this point in time, you could put on another brood box. Making it double brooding. But for me, that is a bit troublesome at this point. Because you'll have to, if you're looking for the queen or you want to do anything down there, you have that additional problem of trying to find her. In between those, the two sets of of brood chamber now. If you want to make um, new colonies, well, you could do that. But right now, with the honey flow on, I am just looking to see how best I could stimulate these bees to get some more honey. So you see, if I didn't take the time at home to clean these frames, I wonder if being able to do this adjustment, spacing it out, spacing out the frames equally, so easy, right? So you'll have plenty of homework to do when it comes to, to be keeping you. Plenty of preparation. You see, I don't know what you're doing beforehand, and when you get there, Based on the, what you see happening, you make the adjustments to suit. Right, so this colony here now could continue what they're doing and they have the additional benefit of doing this. Doing this super. So I'll put the 
The other two troopers on top here now. And these bees will be better. Finish filling it up. It looks like I have a little manipulation here to do. Taking the ones that almost filled. You see like this. And putting it to the end on both sides. That way, when I come back here to, to do some surplus extraction, all the frames will be filled. They now start to put a little cap on it there in the end there. So I'll put this in the middle. These work from the middle and, and start going to the out, to the outside of the frame. I mean the, the super on either side. So I think it makes sense to take the middle and put it in the end. They'll finish it all faster that way and put the ones that not seal in the middle. See like these two ends. They're not sealed at all. You understand? Next level. The super which will go on top of the brood nest will now go smack on the, totally on the top. Right? over that, that little bit of broke home on the top there I just leave that as it is now across here that one which is so much it has so much foundation still to be drawn I'll put that on by John Cover up this here now, and this will be, that will be it for this colony. Let's head, to head over to this small colony here now. Let's see what they has to offer. Look 
give them a little time to realize I'm coming in. In the meantime, I will recharge my smoker. Some fuel. I have. I have some cashew seed here. Which I'm going to put inside here in preparation for bajon. Two, four, six, eight. Eight cashew seeds. It could be more, it could be less. Depends on what, what came out in your hand. By the time the fuel reach down to that, I will have um, some good protection there. This colony here is doing okay. As you can see, I don't know if they will produce any surplus honey this year. I'm trying. I'm, doing, I'm putting in all the little seppies that I know about. I see the congregation on this side quite a bit. To investigate the right side. And the results is yes, the right side, like three quarter four. So, you know what that means? We're going to take out these two frames here and put one on either side. Put it in the middle and put the, the empty ones in it. To the end. And if you remember, this colony was very quiet in the beginning. Now, it seems like having issues. You see this frame? This frame here. Let me angle it good so you see it. This frame here they've been working on it. And um they have a lot of work to do still. Remember this this um super was sitting in my storage for some time and it got very very um bite up with the wax mud and look at the incredible job that these bees did in restoring it I'll show you another one so testing the ability of these bees to rejuvenate and to be productive is what I was doing by putting that uh, super here. You see what I'm talking about? It? Right, so I would, you know, let them continue. And just like the other two, the three quarter full. Right? Already started 
to ay nakta. In addition to if you have any frames. All right, so I need to run up to the car and come back. So like before, keep an eye on them. On them. See how they fly out under there? They smell like the honey, you know. show it to you man. The fuss is about making sure that all the frames have even spacing right through so that you'll get a nice layout when the bees put the, the nectar in there. Waiting and watching, and they need more room, so I'm giving all the more room just now. Thank you. 
to make another change to my plan. I get carried away, you know. Because I have to be camera man as well. foundation on it. I'm putting it right smack on top of the boot neck. Set a foundation on top here. So they have a foundation on top of the brood nest, and they have semi foundation on top of it. Oh! I forget the two next two that way. Ah! I have to dismantle this now. Go shop! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying not to tell you. The foundation, the, the two next two that going on top of the shallow super of foundation. And then the other semi foundation partially built out going on top of that. This is in preparation for the rainy season. So you see how far ahead I am taking that. Right. No. Another super going on top there. This one has this going on in it. Where they're, they're whitening the frames and they're putting the nectar in it. Another super going on top there. Another one. Let me show you another one. As I glance on it, it piqued my interest. It might pique yours as well. Right? So this colony is very strong if they could do all of this now one two three we put now the last one The last 
last one goes right on top there. Right, so that colony there is fixed now. It has three supers, and I'll make one of the shallow super available to them in case the queen wants to go up there and lay rather than having to go down in the brood nest and put in foundation and all of that. I'm making a little shortcut. I have one more super, I believe. I will need to bring it and put it. On the top here. Yes. Let's take a look at me there. Keep me company that way. See that? I forget here already, you know. But I will build my own. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell icon. This is um, shareable, shareable. Shareable, so you can share it. You understand? So, that's the plan. Now we can also see the difference between and what the bees will do with extra space for brood. compare one colony to the other. Now I have a so guys what are looking like? I have a, a frame here which I took out the last time. It had a little resources in it. 
So I didn't want it to leave it home. I decided to bring it here. I'll put it inside this little free frame box I have here. And the bees will go in it and take out all that little bit of neck honey. Right? So it is that time again when we have to do the double and triple. I can already see this is the one here two of them actually this one here needs replenishing as well as that one all the rest looking okay it have no branch or no any debris or any kind of thing to make a bridge that will cause them problem later on so My water bottle is still here. They look like they have a good water source, so I will leave it for further notice. And I'm still here. See me? And that's it for me here at the Good Honey Yard. And thanks very much for your company. And for giving me that thumbs up as well. So that. I will know that the, the videos that I'm putting out has been keeping your interest. I am a self-starter, so I don't need any pep talk. You know, we have some batteries that don't need to be um, put back to water and all them sort of thing in it. Yeah, that is me. All I need you to do is to ring the bell icon, tell a friend, subscribe if you haven't done it before. And I good with that man. Give me a thumbs up and thing, you know. Oi oi oi. Sometimes it could be a little task. When the bees reach to this um, strength, they'll keep up with them. You see now, if you look at right here in the car, there's a community car. Quite a lot of bees inside. Anyhow, if you're not a beekeeper, that's some good information for you. But if, you're, if you are a beekeeper, there's nothing new. So, I'm going to go by the beach now and have myself a refreshing bath. Pick up some seaweed, if it have any, and head back home. I have a lot of work to do home with that seaweed. Remember, I'm a plant-based organic dragon fruit farmer in addition to being a beekeeper. So friends, thanks very much. I'm Hans Tierman, and uh, all the little goodies that you see at the beginning, sometime in the middle, sometime in the end, I hope it is, would, have, would have been of great interest to you and you would have learned something because we are all here to learn and to teach and to carry on with practice. for the health of the whole world. Yeah, man. All right. So I'm going on sign off. I find out. Talk. Well, plenty to All right. TFN. Tata for now. That's what it means. Until the next time. <laughs>